and good afternoon creeps you already know it's time for another direct upload um today uh you know we're, we're still going on i'm still going on about the decay and the um uh the decay of the internet and if you're new to these videos i've been really um harping on the fact that um, YouTube, the YouTube homepage is littered with pornographic rap videos, um, and the Instagram is also littered with pornography and prostitution with the Instagram baddies, and the TikTok is covered with, you know, chubby fat girls, um, doing Taco Tuesdays, and chubby fat white girls twerking in their swimsuits, and, uh, you know, babies, uh, twerk, so-called hashtag twerking babies, and, Hashtag chili dogs of bestiality videos and honestly the the internet is is getting really um, super super gross and You would think and this is mainly targeted to the black race all that pornography and pedophilia and bestiality and prostitution and pornography most of it is you know being pushed at black people and most black people don't understand that um, that stuff is bad. So they're, you know, they're, they're, um, the porno pushers are shoveling it to these black people that don't know any better. They don't know right from wrong, actually. They just, you know, they don't get it. They don't understand that stuff is bad. And they just literally sit there for hours just watching pornography. All different facets of pornography. Rap music, pornography, listening to WAP songs about wet-ass pussies and you know, then they go to TikTok and then they sit there watching twerking babies and pet and bestiality. And then they go to Instagram and start looking at Instagram baddies. And, and I mean, if somebody is literally just sitting there looking at that um, and they don't know that it's bad, then, then, you know, they don't know right from wrong. OK, so I was watching Miss Miriam um, yesterday and I was just. Um, Miss Miriam is a Muslim lady on um, YouTube. She was um, at one point not wearing her face veil or her head covering her hijab. And she was selling um, skin bleaching products. I never bought anything from her because I make my own skin bleaching products. But that's how I, ca how I came across Miss Miriam. Um, she was basically um, in the skin bleaching community when it was me and Frank White and Kevin Burrell and we were all in the skin bleaching community together, okay? Our community was basically stumped on by YouTube. And, you know, they don't show our real numbers and our real views. And they basically don't do anything but step on us and, you know, try to make us look bad by making it look like no one is watching our videos. I mean, Miss Miriam's videos sometimes will look like no one is watching them. I mean, I'll check back later, it'll say no views, and I know that I watched it, and it won't even count my view for her. So, you know, I'm just saying that, you know, when you see my view count, I got 15,700 subscribers, and it'll say that I, on a bit popular subject matter, I only have 20 views for two weeks. I mean, but, you know, that's neither here or there. Um, I'm just telling you how I came across Miss Miriam. Okay, I don't care about numbers. Numbers mean nothing to me. It doesn't equate to money to me. I, I'm demonetized, so the numbers mean nothing to me at this point. doesn't mean money to me. It, it means nothing. So it doesn't matter really what the number says. I still make my videos regardless of, you know, who they say is not watching it. So anyway, um, what I wanted to say about Miss Miriam. Okay, um, I was, you know, just going through some of her videos, and I saw... Uh, uh, I, I don't remember the Muslim name of it, the, the, um, it's not the hijab, it's the entire face covering except for her eyes. Okay, so she, I was curious as to why she wanted to wear that, and I, she actually explained it in one of her videos that it was based on modesty, and she explained, um, the Islamic reasons for women wanting to be that modest. Now, let me uh, explain myself. I am an atheist. I don't believe in God and I don't believe in Satan. I don't believe in heaven or hell. And um, I'm not a Christian. I'm not a Muslim. I am not a Catholic. I am not a JWJ Jehovah's Witness. I'm not a Mormon. 
I'm an atheist. That means I am no religion at all. I don't believe in religion. And I think that religion is a destructive force on this planet. So I, I don't believe in religion. and But I don't um, go around trying to force my views on people, except for like if they are Kevin Burrell saying that they're possessed by a demon, which I know demons are not real. And if he would just stop fucking around with the Bible book, these demons, these so-called demons will stop spiritually attacking him. It's just all in his mind. It's just a mind game. And if he would just stop, and I'm actually, I was, and you know, making videos to try to help Kevin Burrell, but he can't be helped. And he's going to continue to um, read the Bible and he's going to continue to be so-called possessed by demons. If he's saying that the demons are attacking him, that means that he thinks that he's demonically possessed. So, you know, he's a lost cause. He He's not going to get better. He's going to keep on getting worse. And he's going to keep on being fucked with by those invisible beings because he's encouraging it and he's not trying to stop it. So, whatever. Okay, so, as far, okay, so let me talk about the hijab. Okay, now, you know, as I'm getting older, um, when I was a very young child, I was maybe about four years old. Uh, that was the first time I saw a Muslim uh, in my neighborhood and it was a Muslim family and I looked at it and the woman was fully covered like a Miss Miriam in a full face veil and I said to myself I don't know what the fuck that is but whatever it is I don't want nothing to do with it for as long as I live and I you know I rejected Islam when I was about four years old um, I rejected Christianity when I was about 10 years old but anyway I got tricked into being a Christian regardless after that so I was a fake Christian and one day I'll tell you how I was a fake Christian I thought that I was a Christian but I was actually practicing witchcraft while I was saying that I was a Christian so I was actually um into the occult and it was it's some it's a long story of how this this can happen to a witch or a warlock or something like that but anyway that's not neither here nor there I just wanted to talk about um modesty okay and um the islamic uh version okay so when miss Miriam was talking about modesty you know honestly uh for the you know this is like the first time in my life where i could kind of understand the degree of modesty that an islamic woman might want to take that modesty is actually um, somewhat refreshing. It's like, a, um, whereas when I was younger, I did not think that that degree of modesty was appropriate. But now, after being bombarded with so much pornography on the internet, just um, seeing a woman actually being modest is actually um, somewhat refreshing. Now, I don't agree with the Islamic version of that intense modesty where, um, you know, you're wearing a face veil and then she had a covering that, I mean, the face veil, that I don't remember the name of it. It was like, you could only see her eyes and then she had a second covering where it would literally cover up her eyes and you couldn't see her. Now, I think that that degree of modesty is going to the extreme um, I do believe that women should show their beauty. Um, I, I love the fact that, you know, women can show their beauty uh, in, you know, these Western societies. I don't, um, I don't feel like, you know, um, wearing a face veil is, is um, entirely necessary because um, if somebody is walking around like that, Especially is it, if it's in a black community, it could be a man pretending to be a woman who is about to commit a crime. And like Michael Jackson, do you remember when he was going to Ball, Ball Rain or whatever that was? And he was dressed like a woman in a face veil and everything. And so he, Michael Jackson clearly had a penis. We remember when he was Michael Jackson when he was young. So, he, you know, but he was wearing a female um, uh, Muslim attire. So, you know, I don't think that, uh, that that is safe in a Western society where we have ghettos and poverty 
where a man could easily pretend that he is a woman and wear that around and then he could be committing crimes and we wouldn't have any idea what that person looks like. So I think that there could be a danger level uh, in that amount of modesty when it comes to niggers. Because there could be nigger men that are, you know, going to pose as women and then, you know, go into a bank or a liquor store or something and decide to rob it dressed as a, as a Muslim woman wearing, um, you know, a face veil. So um, I do understand to a certain magnitude uh, a Muslim woman's um, modesty because um, in this day and age, you know, modesty to me is much appreciated as you can see you know based on um, my skin condition of the fact that my skin gets blackened and burnt up by the sun uh, you know I don't expose my son uh, my skin to the sun I just don't do it um, and actually I have you know I do believe in dressed in, in dressing modest modestly in the daytime and I'm an atheist I'm not a Muslim well, it, it, what I do, you know, I put on a full face of makeup. I make sure that I have full coverage makeup because I don't want my skin getting blackened by the sun. So I do cover my face with three layers of makeup. I wear a, um, a, um, a LA Colors matte foundation. I, I go in with a setting powder, powder, and then I cover my face with, um, you know, bronzer and um, powder makeup. And then I go in and I put pink and gold all over my face. And I, you know, that's my own style. It's unique to me. I don't care if anybody else is doing it. We all can do different things, but whatever. And, you know, and so I cover my neck up. I wear a turtleneck. I even wear my gloves. I don't have on my gloves right now, but I have my arms all covered. Usually I have my hands covered. I have my legs covered. I have my feet covered. Everything is covered. I don't show my cleavage in the daytime. I do uh, put on shorts and tank top in the evening, but I try not to go, um, you know, to to stores or walk down a public street dressed like that because that does um, um, start to draw in the wrong type of attention, the negative attention from black men. I don't want the attention of black men. I don't want them hooping and hollering. I don't want them shouting out things like shake that ass as I'm walking. I don't want that type of attention. That t that type of attention to me is negative attention. And honestly, I don't want it. I, I don't want to fuck black men. I'm not interested in exchanging numbers with black men. I just don't do it because it's, it's just not my cup of tea. Nigger men are way too filthy and nasty. And honestly, I would never give my vagina to some black man at the gas station or driving down the street. I'm not going to do it under no circumstances whatsoever. I don't want to give birth to a Furby, which is what I call a nigger man's baby, a Furby. I don't want nobody's Furbies in my house. Um, I would never walk around carrying somebody's Furby for nine months. And I don't want to be bothered with no motherfucking black man. So I, you know, when I'm going to the store, I, I'm completely aced up. If I feel like I need a double layer of, of protection, I wear my pentagram. It does say witchcraft and Satan to certain people. And it honestly protects me because if somebody thinks that you're a witch or that you worship the devil, which I don't, I don't worship the devil. I'm not interested in worshiping anything. I'm not a Luciferian and I'm not a Satanist. But if that's what it takes to protect you so that people don't try to talk to you or try to ask you for your number, if they see that motherfucking pentagram around your neck, then a lot of times they will just leave you alone. I Honestly, I, I let me see if you don't know what a pentagram looks like. Let me see if I, can, I found my daughter's pentagram. This is the one that she wore for Christmas. I generally don't wear a pentagram unless I really feel like I need protection from people so, so that they won't bother me. This is a pentagram. This is... Um, you know, this means all different things to certain people. To me, this means witchcraft protection. I, I do wear it um, if I do feel like I'm going to be around a lot of niggers. Um, this generally will scare the shit out of a nigger person. So, you know, if I need to feel like I need protection, I need to wear it around my neck. 
and it um it makes me look like a hardcore witch and it will scare the the worst of the worst it will also scare away jehovah's witness and it will also scare away mormons if they're trying to go out recruiting and converting people so the pentagram is necessary for me if i need you know some protection okay because it keeps certain people away from me now this pentagram could also be used by a Satanist and they will call it the star of Satan. A lot of times they were introverted where it's like that. And then as you can see, the Baphomet appears and usually the Satanist will wear it introverted where it's um, going to have the demon Baphomet on it instead of the star of Satan. Also, Luciferians will wear it if they are saying that they are um, worshiping Lucifer, um, if they are saying that it is the morning star of Lucifer. So it all got different meanings for an atheist, if you're a witch or a warlock or sorcerer or wizard or whatever. Um, it just means, you know, the pentagram of Wicca, witchcraft, and then the Satanists got all, and then the Luciferians, they got their ideas, but it protects me, and that's why I like the, the pentagram. But let me tell you something. When it comes to um, to uh, modesty, okay, I'm trying to hurry up because I do need to hurry up and get out of here. When it comes to modesty, guys, um, I'm not going to, to say that, that Western society needs to go the route of Islam, but I do understand some of the Islamic ladies, you know, I do have a newfound respect for them, whereas I didn't have a certain level of respect for Islam. But now I do because of the simple fact, um, because of the simple fact that um, I do have a, that was my my phone um, showing me text messages, so I just wanted to check them real quick. I do have a certain respect for Islam because um, if they are saying that, you know, it's just modesty and it's there to protect their women, you know, I do understand that. And, you know, um, you know, as far as the atheists, um, the atheist Satanists and Luciferians, we don't promote um, uh, a lot of pornography. We don't promote pornography at all. Um, anytime you see witches, witches are fully co covered. A lot of times they'll, they'll just show their, their cleavage and then everything else is covered. But witches don't really um, um, engage in a lot of porno pornography looks. Um, most witches cover up from head to toe and they cover their heads and everything else. And most witches cover up everything except for their cleavage. So, you know, everything is pretty much covered when it comes to atheists, Satanists, and Luciferians. Um, we, we don't really um, expose our bodies too much. Um, so what I wanted to say is that when it comes to Islam, I'm not going to say that I agree that that level of modesty is... Is something that um, I would condone, but I do have a newfound respect for their modesty because they're not, you know, pushing porno, and and they're, you know, I think that they are a little bit on the extreme, but like I said, it's you know, uh, you know, as you get older, you start looking at things from a different angle. And um, I do have a, a little bit more understanding of um, the Islamic um, uh, thought process. Now, when I'm wearing my mask like this, oh, where is it at? Okay. Um, actually, I forgot to put this on. I do need to put this on. This is this. Some people actually think that I'm a Muslim because of how covered up, up I am. So when I have on my mask, when I have on my mask, it looks like this. And then I have on my black gloves. And honestly, some people think that I'm a Muslim. And I'm not. I'm an atheist. But, um, you know, just be, you, haven't, you haven't seen the complete outfit with my gloves and my, um, my veil on. Or not the veil, is a face mask. But some people think that I'm wearing a veil. Okay, because it looks like that. So it looks like I'm wearing it looks like I'm wearing a face veil, but I'm not. I'm actually not a Muslim at all. I'm an atheist. So 
you know, so, and then they'd be like, oh, I thought you were a Muslim. This is if I don't have on a pentagram or anything. And I'm like, no, no, I'm not a Muslim. I'm an atheist. And then they say, oh, okay, that's it. Because it looks like I'm wearing a face veil. Okay, but I'm not. Okay, so anyway, let me just say this. Um, I do understand um, a little bit better um, grasp of Islam. Do I think that that degree of extremity is necessary? No, I do not. I, I feel like the women should be allowed to show their hair. Um, but, you know, different strokes for different folks. Some Whatever happened in the Middle East that made the women cover up, you know, whatever it was, you know, maybe it was necessary during that, that time, those hundreds of years ago. I don't know. I wasn't there. But um, I do know and understand a little bit more about why, you know, somebody like Miss Miriam has decided just to wear full covering. Um, you know, with this, when we're being hammered and slammed with pornography day in and day, in, day out all over the Internet, um, I can understand why somebody might want to just, you know, cover their bodies up completely. I mean, because, you know, they probably don't want to be looked at in a derogatory manner and they want they demand respect i mean it, it, it could just be as simple as that like you have if you you know want to make sure that somebody respects you they then they cover all the way up to demand respect um and because this commands respect when i'm dressed like this it commands a, a respect level and it does and i get i command respect in this type of outfit and it does command it now, if you're wearing shorts and a tank top, honestly, you don't get the same level of respect. You get hooping and hollering and r nigger boys running up to you asking for a phone number and shit like that. So I try not to go to the store dressed like that. It's just too much of that nonsense and I, I just don't want to be bothered with it. So anyway, to end this story, um, yeah, I understand a little bit better of Islam. I understand it a little bit better than I did um a little while uh, ago, like a, about a year ago or so. And I'm just saying, you know, I, I get it, but do I agree with it? No, I don't. I don't entirely agree with that level of modesty. I think that is, you know, you can you can go from one extreme to the next. And I honestly think that they're on the extremist level. But, you know, different strokes for different folks. Sometimes, it, it, you know, whatever they're feeling, Whatever is in their mind and their heart, it might they might need that extreme level of modesty. Maybe you know I don't know. I just feel like I don't need that extreme level. I don't want to cover my hair or anything. I don't feel like I need to go on that extreme level. And anyway, I'm not a Muslim. I'm an atheist. But anyway, um, you know we all have to try to understand each other and respect each other's wishes. And you know as long as it is not hurting anybody, then. There's nothing wrong with it. So, you know, Miss Miriam, rock on with your modesty. But isn't that level of modesty is not for me. So, yeah, I do agree with it. I mean, I do understand. I didn't say I, I, I made a mistake and said I agree with it. I understand it a little bit better. I'm not going to sit here and say that I entirely understand it because I can't understand something that I'm not. I'm not a Muslim. So, obviously, there there is going to be a level of misunderstanding because... Um, you know, I don't agree with the extremism of it. But do I understand why some people might have to do that? Yes, I, I get it. So, um, you know, uh, that's all for now, guys. I got to go live fiercely, love viciously. And remember, atheism is unstoppable.